What's going on there, folks? Good evening, good afternoon, good morning to a few out there, I suppose. It's the Earthmaster here on this Thursday night, December 1st, 2022. It's about 9.40 p.m. California time here along the West Coast. Latest quake shows a 1.5 into the area of Alaska. Also, some movement kicking up once again around New Zealand. Things definitely rocking and rolling out here. Uh, at the North Island, New Zealand recently. Uh, it is in that zone that needs to uh, keep saying catch up because we really haven't seen any major sufficient activity. Well, aside from some pretty good swarming at a super volcano there, Lake Taupo. Um, that's a super volcano. And um, let's check out the drums real quick. I know the USGS just showing this 5.1 north of there. Uh, about 168 kilometers deep. Now there is a... Uh, Oh, Hikurangi subduction zone area offshore off the eastern coast here um, that we're watching. That's a, a uh, this whole area is just an extremely dangerous area in terms of plate tectonics and volcanoes. Uh, beautiful area, but it's uh, also very uh, hazardous in in the uh, terms of um, hazards. <laughs> let's see. All right, let's go ahead and check out the drums here. From the GeoNet, these are seismograph stations, and we're going to check out Taupo. It's going to be a regular thing because they are continuing to have a pretty intense earthquake swarm. Now, the 5.0 that just kicked up on the chart is, um, hold on a second here, let's go back to our normal one, is going to be this line right here within the last few minutes. Now, that's not a localized earthquake to uh, the super volcano there in New Zealand, uh, but it did pick up that 5.0 pretty nicely. Uh, these other quakes around the area definitely localized earthquake activity uh, and there's still been quite a bit of them so continuing to watch that pretty closely uh, the latest info here on the GeoNet servers uh, shows the activity let's go ahead and include all quakes here and see what we got um, let's see here 18 minutes ago it doesn't look like they have that uh, Oh, there we go, 5.4, 159 kilometers deep. Uh, also up north along the Kermadec Trench, a uh, 4.6. So still a lot of activity ramping up all over New Zealand. Uh, I think that something's getting ready to brew out here, uh, whether it's a super volcano or a uh, earthquake along the uh, Kermadec Trench region or south here throughout New Zealand, maybe the Alpine Fall area. Um, things are definitely pretty active in this area of New Zealand. So we'll keep an eye on that pretty closely. Uh, there's a little uh, little article that was put out here back in June 22nd, 2021. So last year, um, this article got put out by earthsky.org. Somehow I missed it because uh, normally I do look at quite a few articles here and uh, they kind of talk about the unrest that's ongoing there at the Tao, uh, Taupo super volcano. Uh, and back there, back then, uh, they had some uh, earthquake activity. And uh, prior to that, looks like in 2019, there was some uh, movement back back there as well. Uh, just some earthquake activity. Um, I don't know if they were as big as the ones we are seeing right now, as far as that 5.4 that struck uh, here yesterday. Um... The new magma being fed into this reservoir is what caused the triggering of the earthquakes in 2019. Um, again, this uh, volcano really hasn't had a uh, eruption in 1800 years. Uh, Earth's last super eruption was Taupo approximately 25,000 uh, 25, years ago. Uh, but since then, we've seen these smaller uh, eruptive stages. Uh, let's see here. I know there's a bunch here of uh, activity that's going on there in New Zealand. Uh, looks like uh, the Taupo supervolcano of 25,000 years ago uh, was the largest volcanic eruption on the earth uh, in the last 70,000 years. So debris covered North Island up to 660 feet deep of debris 
Holy smokes, that's not a good, not a good deal. Or in the equivalent, uh, all of California buried under nine feet of debris. Uh, there's a little map of the uh, Taupo volcano caldera. Either way, something to watch pretty closely, folks. Um, you know, it's whether it's going to go or not. Who knows? We'll have to watch it and uh, see how it plays out. Um, was felt that year. So it looks like 2019, there was a 5.2 back there as well, along with uh, 1,100 earthquakes. So I don't know if we we're caught up on that uh, level or not, but either way, watching this area pretty closely in, in terms of that uh, movement around the volcano and also just a lot of earthquake activity. Uh, but no major movement yet. Uh, still kind of watching that. A lot of earthquake activity obviously ramping up in this area that's been quiet. Uh, and I say quiet because of all the sixes and sevens that we've seen here a week or so ago upstream up along the, um, the other areas here of the Pacific Plate. So this is catching up. It's definitely showing signs of catching up. We see it on the map. Something to watch pretty closely. Uh, northwestern portion here of the Pacific Plate, it looks like a 4.9 into the Kuril Kamchatka Trench. That's going to be this earthquake up here, 72 kilometers deep into the Kuril Kamchatka Trench. And uh, that's about it through this area, at least uh, according to the USGS. Maybe it uh, looks like a 3.7 there um, uh, in the Japan area. Some movement across the Java Trench as well, Indonesia regions. All showing some activity uh, today and this morning. As far as upscale earthquake activity upstream here, up on the Tonga Trench, um, looks like we did have another super deep 4.5 there into the area south of Fiji, 573 kilometers deep. Kick it up down there, folks. Be on guard around New Zealand area. All right, uh, Hawaii, Mauna Loa, still doing its thing um still pretty active looks like uh, earthquake activity still continuing there around the northeast rift zone and also uh, up at the caldera area uh, for the latest information let's go ahead and go to the uh, volcano hazards map here and we'll check out uh, Mauna Loa and uh, see what they have to mention with their latest update that was put out just earlier this afternoon their time 5 p.m uh, looks like the uh, eruption continues with two active fissures feeding lava flows downslope. Uh, of course, Fissure 3 remains the dominant source of the largest lava flow. Uh, the Fissure 3 lava flows are traveling to the north towards the Daniel K Highway, but have reached relatively flatter ground and have slowed down significantly as expected. Uh, advancement of the largest flow slowed over the past 24 hours to a rate of about 0 0.025 miles per hour. Uh, as of 1 p.m. today. The flow front is about 3.2 miles from the highway, the Daniel K. Highway Saddle Road. Uh, advanced rates may be uh, variable here over the coming days, uh, depending on uh, the way lava is in place on flat ground and the advancements uh, there forward. Uh, Fissure 4 is still active with lava flows moving towards the northeast. Uh, volcanic gas plumes are uh, lofting high and vertically into the atmosphere. Looks like current uh, active rates there of trimmer continue. And obviously that's a sign magma is still being supplied and this activity is gonna be probably continue for quite a while. So we'll watch that uh, pretty closely. I wanna bring up this windy map here real quick and show you guys the SO2 layers here that has been produced from the uh, volcano there in Hawaii. Now, check that out. Uh, here in Northern California, we're pretty lucky. We don't have a lot of the SO2 in the air but uh, because we have some low pressure systems coming down from the Gulf of Alaska. But all this activity here just kind of spewing out from the big island of Mauna Loa uh, and, of course, Kilauea volcano erupting uh, as well. But that is a lot of SO2 uh, concentrations that have been blowing around um, all over the place here from uh, Mauna Loa. And you can see that it stretches uh, pretty significantly uh, across the area. And that's uh, that's gotta be somewhat up in the atmosphere, not at ground levels. Um, for ground levels, uh, we'd have to check the uh, Hawaii um, uh, map there. 
All right, uh, let's see. What else is there in terms of... Uh, let's go back to Hawaii here real quick. Go to site. Kind of want to see what we got for the latest uh, photos and videos out here. Uh, Mauna Loa. Currently no property at risk. That's good. Um, some awesome, awesome uh, pictures here coming from... Uh, the USGS uh, volcano page. I would love to be up there, um, taking readings and getting these shots. I mean, who wouldn't? I well, probably most people wouldn't, but uh, that's uh, unbelievably awesome looking. Uh, looks like the latest map here is just put out today. Yes, December first uh, shows the. Uh, Northeast Rift Zone, Fisher 1, 2, 3 right here still remains active, Fisher 4, and the flow here of the uh, lava, the front flow, 6.30 a.m. was listed right around here, and of course Daniel uh, K. Highway here, the uh, Saddle Road area is just, just up north here uh, a little bit, but uh, they're talking about that maybe could be about a week or so, uh, depending on the flow, uh, that it may reach that highway. Either way, pretty cool. Uh, neat to see the um, the pictures there put out by the USGS. All right, uh, let's see what else we have here. South America region, some activity it looks like over the last 24 hours. Um, latest here doesn't show a whole lot. It's a very small cluster of twos and threes across the Peru Chile Trench. Uh, some of that not showing up, obviously, there, but uh, nothing big going on. Panama area looks like a 5.1 from this morning. A little spotty activity across the Puerto Rico area. Uh, center portion here of the states. One earthquake this morning, way earlier. 2.4 in the New Madrid seismic zone. Uh, same for the uh, oh, uh, the New Mexico and Texas area. A couple spotty earthquakes. Um, up here in Yellowstone National Park, got a 1.3 and a 0.5. Let me check out the seismograph stations here. And uh, yeah, there's a little bit of activity here. Looks like a couple small ones. But that's about it. Nothing major uh, going on there at Yellowstone, which is good news for now. A uh, little activity up around the Mount Rainier area as well. Into Northern California, things very quiet uh, for the most part. A little spotty activity up and down the creeping segment here of the San Andreas Fault. Movement has, um, has been confined mostly here um, to the Elsinore and the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Uh, where we're seeing activity here over the last 24 hours kind of increasing with a little spotty movement here around Salton City area Salton Sea uh, but uh, nothing major going on across the southern branch here of the San Andreas Fault for now definitely keep an eye on that and the Trident Volcano um, looks like Mount Martin area too uh, over here to the west of Trident is kind of kicking up uh, a little bit of earthquake activity ramping up here underneath this mountain range and those uh, volcanoes over here along the Fox Island seen some activity this morning and um, looks like it's kind of died off here since then 4.8 coming in about four o'clock this morning time frame so watch this area folks things are uh, definitely pretty active for the folks down in New Zealand and there's a um, you know there's a lot at stake here Got to watch this uh, and see how this plays out. Let's see what we got for trimmer tonight. Uh, 34. 34 epicenters of trimmer. Mostly here around the Vancouver Island range and the Olympia area. Um, let's check out the Earthquakes Canada map here. I don't think we've seen any further uh, activity up in Alberta. Looks like a little bit of movement off the village of Queen Charlotte area. With a... 3.5 earlier but uh when was this one 3.8 looks like that was coming in as well today so still seeing some smaller uh earthquakes here within the vicinity of the 5.3 that struck here a few days ago uh, alberta is uh one of alberta's largest uh, earthquakes out there in the oil fields all right uh, space weather activity Looking like I uh, got another coronal hole here. There's 51 that supplied us with uh, some cool auroras at the higher, la la uh, higher latitudes here the past couple nights. 
Um, but we got another big one, 53, just as large, maybe possibly bigger, uh, that is going to be rotating here in the view or uh, into the Earth view directly. Uh, it is uh, positioned with on within the surface or within the position of the sun here, the disk of the sun, to be very geo effective. 53. Uh, we'll watch that pretty closely here in the coming days. Looking pretty massive there. That will affect the uh, three day forecast. Right now, unsettled conditions here over the next few nights, I believe, uh, until that uh, other solar wind stream hits us. Probably be here in a few days once it is lined up. Current conditions there show about the three level for the KP index and the heightened auroras up here into Canada and looks like uh, portions of Greenland there. Maybe Iceland as well. Um, Iceland, Greenland area. Uh, Alaska looks like those definitely will be in position to see uh, the auroras maybe but the percentages here sometimes really don't mean too much but uh, either way watch for those at the higher latitudes uh, solar flare activity Let's see what we got a couple new sunspots there's a massive region here on the uh, far southeastern side of the Sun this thing is huge and there's a lot of dynamic um, closeness here with the magnetic structure of that field and I think we need to watch that one as that comes into view 3153 a massive huge um, sunspot region there's a little bit better view of it um, we'll watch it as it definitely comes into view we'll see how it plays out with that uh, beautiful sunspot currently though not a whole lot of uh, threats uh, looks like maybe 60% chance for a C flare, 15% chance for an X flare, and a 5% chance for, well, uh, uh, M flare at 15%, X flare around 5%. And it looks like that may be coming from 3153, the ginormous sunspot that's down there in the southeastern section of the sun. But 3154, 3152 looks like it harbors a little bit for an X flare uh, 3152 and 54 uh, 52 up here and 54 eh, if they say so all right we'll uh, keep an eye on that for sure all right folks have a good night uh, stay safe out there and again uh, just keep your eyes open and uh, be on guard New Zealand area things rocking for sure out there uh, pretty obvious looks like this may be leading to something bigger it could just be a whole bunch of these quakes fours and fives and, and then that'd be it but I, I don't know I don't think so all right guys have a good night stay safe we're jumping off here catch you guys tomorrow sometime peace out